Okay, here we have uh, the x, y, z uh, set of coordinate system again. So what I'm going to do, bearing on mind the previous video, I'm going to click for three points. So because in order to define the plane, I need to have three points. And then if I put on the plane, there is a plane that goes through those three points. And how do we actually define a plane? Well, if I click on this, we get a quite a complicated system. So I'm just going to like try to explain it. Point R up here is a general point in the plane X, Y, Z. So in order to get to that point, I the vector O to R, we need to go to O to A. I'm going to move that around a little bit so you can see. Let's just start again from O, the or set origin there, to A. And then we need to go from A to P. That's a bit hard to do because it's in 3D. So about there. And then from P to R. But we need different multiples of this vector and this vector. And I can do that by moving, if you see that I'm moving it different different values of, this is changing the length of this vector, but I can also change the length of this vector as well. You can see that on that way I can get every single point in the plane by moving these two parameters here. Got to be careful here because for here I only now have two points in the plane so it's not defined so that's not very good to do that. So they can't be equal to zero. So look at look at this, so I'm moving this one and then if I move this one I get different values and I can go to anywhere in the plane. I can come even right down here if I wanted to as well. I can see completely different values. I must make sure that I ever end up with two points so. Okay, and that's how a plane is defined. And then if I click at the moment to go from what I need to do is if um to go to O R dash, we need to go to O A plus some multiple of the vector A P. So let's just repeat that. We're going O A some multiple of lambda times A P and then some other multiple of mu uh, P times P vector P R. Okay, and that's how a vector equation of a plane. Again, I remind you that you will need to have red cyan glasses to watch this video.